Oh, one. We're going to do a quick video here on how to remove the dash of the 24 volt Tundra. We're also going to have a look at how the mirrors are installed. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the uh, mirror on this. As you can see, it has these two tabs and there's two holes in here that they have to uh, go into place and snap into. If you're having trouble with that, this video will be essential in helping with uh, that process. So you'll start by popping the uh, window loose very gently. If you have to, you can use uh, like a butter knife or something that won't mar the surface and gently move the tabs along here and just work the window out like so. Now we've moved, removed some screws just for the purpose of making the video easier and quicker. You will need to remove the bolt that you put through the steering wheel and then slide the steering wheel off. We've already done that for you. Okay, so next you're going to find screws that are in the dash here, 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 and here. You want to open the door and there's also a screw on each side right here and on the same over here. Once you get those removed, gently wiggle the dash up, slide it off of the steering bar. Careful to not pull any of the wires. Next, to get inside of the dash, you would remove the screws on the bottom, which I'm going to do. Okay, we're going to stop right here before we take this apart and I'm going to point out that there is a mirror mount that we spoke about right here. This mirror mount is removed by taking one, two, three screws out. Now you can access where the mirror actually goes. Sorry about that. This piece has the little clips in it. So, we'll have a quicker look at this. The mirror basically goes in between and clicks in to these two holes right here. If you're having trouble with the mirror, sometimes it's better to just clip it in and then install it on the vehicle. And yes, I know I'm using the wrong mirror, but same concept. Clip it in and install it back, put the dash back. But for the reference of video, we're going to go a little bit further now that we've removed these uh, couple screws here. There's two more right there I missed. So reference those <laughs> as well. And I think there is one and these holes as well here. So those five as well. Actually, those have been removed. So, we should come apart here. Now we have access to the inside. I'm not gonna take it all the way apart because there's no point. And you can actually access the wires inside and you will be able to check any kind of wires like the back of the power button or the high and low switch and the rest of the wiring that pertains to this area. Thanks for watching.